Do you know why you are here? I mean, we all were born and raised to a certain age that uh, we are right now, but do you know what purpose you are here to serve in being a part of this planet Earth? Are we just born and raised to do our chosen profession? Get married, possibly raise a family, and then die? It seems like there should be more to life than just winding up dead. Maybe you've listened to someone talk about a great adventure they had. They spoke with such enthusiasm that you wished that you could have done the same thing. Maybe you even spoke to yourself and said, I want to do that too someday. I've often wondered if men and women who become world famous in sports or in movies can't wait to read about themselves in the tabloids or next day's newspapers. They've become so engrossed in their own accomplishments that they want to see what the world is reading about them. One day, Jesus joined the rest of his townspeople as they made their way to the synagogue. He was 30 years old now. He had been baptized. He'd been tempted by the devil in the wilderness, and now he was preparing for his ministry. It seems that the men of the town and the congregation sat in a circle and read portions of Scripture of the day. Jesus, being of age now, was included in those readings. It finally came his turn to read, and he was given the scroll of Isaiah. And he read these words, The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to free the oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Luke 4, verses 18 and 19. Jesus was reading about himself. <laughs> he then returned the scroll of Isaiah to the attendant in the synagogue, and the Bible says that all eyes were upon him. And then he said these words, Today, as you listen, this scripture has been fulfilled. Wow. He was saying this scripture is fulfilled because he was here to do all of these great things. Jesus had been reading the prophecy that pertained to himself. I wonder if you could read an article about yourself, what would it say? Father, I thank you for Jesus' example to us. And I pray that if we ever read an article about ourselves, that it would be something that would be pertaining to serving Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen.